Thank you for watching my video. Follow me on social media and Twitch at CM22ENT. Like and subscribe to this channel and do share it to your friends and family if you think they would enjoy it as much as you do. Oh, you after the last week started so well. Trust. And it's like we went back to the to the mistake. You know, the mistakes of last season, the foolishness, the slow passing, giving away the ball, all them annoying things that I thought over the summer we would have been able to cut out, out of this team. Think about it. So, against Leeds, devastating on the attack, passing, True. quick pace, all them things there. And today we were slow. I'm sorry, I have to say it. Fred and Matic should never be in the midfield again this season. Both of them couldn't dribble with the ball, they couldn't pass with the ball, and they couldn't even defend. Like, it, it, it's, say that again. I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I, I, maybe you can make more sense out of this, <laughs> but I don't see how that midfield can play together again because Matic was dreadful, he has no legs, um, can't pass the ball anymore. Fred, he's, we knew he couldn't pass the ball and he couldn't dribble either, so what is the point? He's just there running around for what? And then oh, it's like, man. in order true. to be better this season, we have aspirations of chasing for the title, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why is it that we are making mistakes that we should have taken away, taken out of this team, taken out of our game? Last season away from home, we always fall behind and come back. We cannot do that. Can't. Yeah, we have this nice record where we equal the invincible record of the number of unbeaten games away from home. But if that means we're dropping points, what's the flipping point? I don't want to drop points. In mm -hmm. this Premier League, you cannot drop points anymore. You mm -hmm. have teams like Man City who want to win all the time and will win most of the time. Liverpool who want to win and will win most of the time. Chelsea, you've seen what they've done. You see what they will do. They got Lukaku. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be boarding, he's gonna be smashing things in top bins, back of the net, all them things they're bullying centre backs. All right, they're gonna win most of the time. So why do we still have that tendency where we wanna fall behind? Because that's not gonna work against every team this season. Every team's wiser to us, every team's sharper. We mm -hmm. need to be sharper and we should be sharper. Yeah. And let me say this one more thing. If this board does not get a midfielder when it's clear and obvious, especially after this game, but it was clear and obvious before that we need a defensive midfielder that can distribute the ball out when the defence supplies it to him and he can get it quickly onto the attack. If that is not obvious, then bridging, 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 I hope the fans do not forget. I hope the fans don't forget it because in the end of the day, yeah, when we was all singing Glazers out and we gave them a blind. A lot of people have given them a blind, gone silent because they got Varane, they got Sancho even though he should have been in the, the summer before but they got him, they got two world class off potential to be world class signings but guess what, there's an outstanding position that needs to be, you know what I mean, filled there's an outstanding mm -hmm. position and we've known this for months, for weeks we need a defensive midfielder that can pass the ball that doesn't panic when he's getting pressed. All of them things above. Why is that so hard to figure out? Surely it would have been on Ole's list. So <laughs> what the hell is got? It's like, oh, you know, I I, at this point, I don't understand, bro. I oh, hold on, man. I, I I just I just need to take a beat yep. for a sec. <laughs> I just need to take Yo. a beat for a sec, man. What's, what the hell? Are you blessed? On? Jeez. Yo, I, 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 you know what? Uh, you know what, yeah? I'm trying my best not to overreact, and I might as well talk to you lot when I say this. I'm trying my best not to overreact. You can come overreacting. It is the second game of the season. Look, this Muppet's over there, he's listening. But it is the second game of the season, and, you know, after such a brilliant game against Leeds, we was bound to have a tougher game a game where we was kind of you know we'd have to grit it out and, and get put in our place almost kind of or brought down back to earth is a better way to say it so i was expecting a more tougher game against a southampton team that likes to be gritty that likes to press you but what i saw today there was a lot of red flags 
you know, and it starts all from that midfield, the slow passing of the midfield, the, the ability to, to, to keep possession and, and really distribute that ball quickly to the likes of Paul Pope, Bruno Fernandes, uh, Mason Greenwood, Anthony Martial, you know, them players there, Jaden Sancho, when he comes on later. It's like, Ole got that horribly wrong, that midfield selection, horribly wrong by selecting Matic and Fred. Two players who are, in terms of Matic, he's lost his legs, he can't run, but also he his distribution has really dipped, it's, it's become poor. And if that's the case, then geez, he will not be playing a lot of games this season, at least I hope he won't be. And Fred, we already know where it is with him, he's kind of the guy that runs around, he's scrappy, causes a lot of problems, but he is not Cardinal the guy that you can be playing with a player like Matic when he can't pass or dribble the ball either. And we saw it a lot today, very sloppy in possession. At times, Southampton pressed them and it's like they didn't know what to do. It's like they just, you know, they stood still and they were scared. It was like Five Nights at Freddy when all you can do is stand in a corner and a man's just gonna come up to you and go, ah! you know what I mean? It's, it's not good enough. And it isn't good enough. And in terms of the striker's position, Anthony Martial got his chance today and didn't see enough from him, to be honest. Now, I've seen a lot of people, including myself at times, call some of the striker's position at Manchester United the graveyard shift. But at the same time, as a striker, you need to know how to get into certain positions to get yourself into the game. If you're struggling, if you're you know in that position and you're struggling to receive the ball, then you have to make it happen for yourself. And that's something that Anthony Martial doesn't have in his game and something that he's going to have to get. You see it with Cavani. If he's not getting the ball in that position, he will drop deeper and come and get involved and try and create from there and we go from there. We didn't see that from Anthony Martial today and that's where he needs to improve if he wants to be a striker from Manchester United because you can't just stay up there all the time you need to be able to make things happen from all over the pitch and but that didn't happen in terms of Bruno Fernandes not his best game but you know in it, it, it was one of them frustrating games that we did see kind of towards the end of last season where Bruno would have you know one of them games where he's just frustrated because of certain decisions and then we you know we maybe we'd find or get a goal to get back in the game but we couldn't like and, and and this is another problem for me as well the fact that we couldn't capitalize on our dominance after scoring the goal it's like these guys eased up i don't know if they got tired they eased up or, or whatever <laughs> happened but there is that is unacceptable for for a team like manchester united you should like you said have aspirations for going on to win the premier league title later in may or, or whenever the end of the season is you shouldn't be tiring up because dropping points against a team like Southampton, no disrespect, but you know what I mean. Dropping points to a team like Southampton is just unacceptable. Stupid. And I know we've seen teams like City drop points already this season. That doesn't matter. We don't watch them. We should be capitalising on that and making sure that we don't do the same that they do so that we can get one up on them. If we drop points, Manchester City won't drop points regularly. You know what I mean? Liverpool won't drop points or Chelsea won't drop points regularly. So we shouldn't be watching what the other teams are doing. We should be watching what we are doing as a team. And like I said, I, I, you know, when, when you was gassed, I'm sorry to say it, when you was there gassed against the Le after the Leeds game, I was telling you, there are a lot of things to iron out for this Manchester United squad in order to, for, for things to go right. And you know i stand corrected there are so many things to iron out and this game alone proved it we still have a lot of the errors from last season stuck in our ways we're still stuck in our ways and we need to improve and if anything i'm glad this game happened as early as it did in the season because if Oli has anything about him then he will know that he needs to return to that training pitch with his players and make sure from now they iron them out and get rid of them early you because better. if they're still there late, you are going to be in a it's lot of trouble. My God. Believe that. Just like you said last episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Believe whatever. that. Whatever. The bit peeps. Subscribe, no man.